Let's talk about ivermectin and its role in treating the coronavirus. Stay tuned to find out. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Edgman and I enjoy making these videos about common questions patients have about medications or any healthcare related topic. So make sure to subscribe for more content. Now to the rest of the video. A new study came out about the use of ivermectin in treating the coronavirus. This study was done in vitro, meaning outside the human body, so typically in the test tube. So we have to take the results with a grain of salt because in vivo studies, which means inside the human body, are more practical in determining whether or not a medication is effective against treating a disease in a human. I'll also put a link in the description below so you guys can refer to the study. As a brief review, ivermectin is an antiparasitic medication, but also has antiviral properties against certain types of viruses. Now, how does ivermectin relate to the coronavirus or COVID-19? We know that the coronavirus is an RNA virus, and like most viruses, its main job is to replicate itself. So what the coronavirus does is that it gets into your cell and tries to also get into your nucleus of your cells in order to get the machinery to make copies of itself. Now, what ivermectin does is that it prevents the coronavirus from getting into the nucleus of your cells. Now you're probably wondering, how does ivermectin actually prevent the coronavirus from getting into the nucleus of your cells? We're going to go over that next. It's going to be a little bit technical, but we're going to go over it together so you guys can understand how the mechanism of action works for this medication. So this is figure G from a study which explains the mechanism of action of ivermectin. I know it looks a little complicated at first glance, but once we break it down, it becomes pretty simple to understand. Now this entire picture is depicting a cell, and on the left hand side we have the cytoplasm, and on the right hand side we have the nucleus. These two lines represent the membrane of the nucleus. Now we know that the coronavirus wants to get inside the nucleus in order to create copies of itself. And it does so by binding to IMP alpha and IMP beta 1, and it goes through a transporter in order to get inside the nucleus, which will cause enhanced infection such reduce antiviral response. Now, the theory is, once ivermectin is inside the cell, it will prevent the coronavirus from binding to IMP alpha and IMP beta 1, which will in turn prevent the coronavirus from getting inside the nucleus and thus prevent the coronavirus from replicating itself. The in vitro results showed 99.98% reduction of coronavirus after 48 hours or 2 days of treatment with ivermectin. Now I know that a 99.98% reduction of the coronavirus sounds great, but we have to keep in mind that this study was done in vitro, and so in vivo results might differ. Hopefully they're the same so we could use this medication if it's approved by the FDA to treat the coronavirus, but right now take these results with a grain of salt. In addition, the study did say how there was no toxicities reported with ivermectin use. Ivermectin is FDA approved for other conditions, so it generally has a good safety profile for it to be on the market as a medication. And lastly, the study did mention how further studies need to be done in order to truly assess the efficacy of ivermectin against treating the coronavirus or COVID-19. Such as a randomized control study will be a very good measure of how effective this drug was because we'll have both in vivo results as well as a clinical trial with both an experimental group and a control group to really assess how effective this medication is. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and learned something new. If you guys did, please give me a big thumbs up and make sure to comment any questions or feedback you guys have for me. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.